Hey everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, and well I mentioned last time that last episode is going to be the final episode of this Let's Play that I would actually enjoy recording, because we're on the second to last video in the series, and oh man, things are about to get insane. We're about to take on the next bonus boss, and... Let's just start. We'll play as Aqua. She's got the strongest arsenal, so... Start with her. Man, this... This is going to suck. <laughs> this next fight is really, really, really awful. Now, it's actually not located in the Mirage Arena. We're gonna just dip out of here. Now, before we start, we're going to need to set our command deck. Well, you might think, aren't we just going to use what we had last time? Four Thunder for Surges for Kiragas, right? Wrong. Nope. No, we are not. Now, at this point, we've kind of proven that the big fancy commands like Magic Hour, Ars Solemn, Ars Arcanum don't really work that well against these bonus bosses because they'll just kill you if you try using them. So, we will keep a Thunder Surge, for sure. However, we will still equip things like Triple Fireaga. We're also going to equip the Triple Blizzaga. And one other. Um, Fundiga Shot's not really great against... You know what? Seeker Mine. We'll try that. Then instead of Thunder Surge, we'll try Barrier Surge. Because that is at least fancier and more related to Aqua. And then one other thing we're going to do, I kept getting sick of me accidentally doing the payback commands, and it also occurred to me we never actually ever showed off Aerial Recovery. So, we're going to use Aerial Recovery. Alright, so where is the next bonus boss located? Well, they're located at the Keyblade Graveyard. See, after you've cleared all of the characters' stories, you've cleared Final Story, and have collected all of the Xehanort reports, and by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, but you need to collect all of the Xehanort reports in order to access Final Story. So once you've done all of that, if you go back to the Keyblade Graveyard, we can land in two different destinations. The Fisher, which is the location right before the final boss, and now there's also this new place we can land, the Badlands. This is not connected to the rest of the world. This is just this big, empty, open battlefield, which is actually the battlefield where we fought Lingering Will in Kingdom Hearts 2. This is also the battlefield where we had a couple of the cutscenes here where Ventus fought Vanitas for the first time and Mickey saved him, as well as where Master Xehanort was sitting on the weird stalagmite and talking to Terra creepily. All those times. And it's literally just this. Nothing else, it's just this giant battlefield. There are no rooms connected to this, it's just this save point takes you to this large, open, empty field. With nothing but this single dark portal. And this dark portal right here is where our next bonus boss is. The crest pulses with a dark power. I'll come back later. Nope. That's a danger I'm willing to face. Oh boy. Yep. Vanitas is back with a vengeance. And a different color scheme. And a new mask. And a new Keyblade. You might be thinking, it's Vanitas! We fought him so many times. How bad could he be? Oh, you wait. Defeat Vanitas' lingering spirit. This fight is awful. You might be looking, hey, wait, wait a second. He only has one bar of HP? Artie, are you tripping? Are you exaggerating? This guy doesn't seem that... Oh, 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 yeah. Don't let that one bar of HP fool you. We are about to gaze into the entrance to hell. So first up, he's going to launch a bunch of his shadowy selves at us. With Aqua, we can just continually cartwheel out of the way. We can't damage him at all during this. And, yeah, he's got a whole bunch of crazy attacks up his uh, sleeve. And as you can see, oh wow, yeah, we're not doing, like, any damage to him at all. Also, all of his attacks will kill you in one hit. Even on beginner mode. 
Even if you're on beginner mode and max level, doesn't matter. If he hits you, boom, you are down to 1 HP. Provided you have second chance and once more. If you don't, he just one hit kills you. So, yeah. Even, not even No Heart was able to take us out in one hit. But, oh no, Vanitas Lingering Spirit, absolutely he can. Yeah, he ain't messing around. He also rarely staggers from your attacks. It's very random whether he does or not. Also, you cannot guard those, and if you try to guard them, you will suffer. Also, they inflict you with blind if you do this. And did you just see what he did there? Maybe you missed it. That's okay. I can shoot fire as well. Yeah, you don't like triple fire Aga too much, do you? And as you can see, Secret Mind just dealt a lot of damage to him. Like, a lot. Honestly, most of this fight, you will cartwheel around, and yep! That is why this fight sucks. He can heal. It doesn't matter if he only has one bar of HP. He can heal. And unlike Terra Xehanort, who could also heal, Terra Xehanort could heal like three times during scripted parts of the fight. Nope. Vanitas Lingering Spirit, there is no limit to how much he can heal. There is one catch, though. He will heal anytime you heal. So if you don't heal, he won't heal. But if you heal, he'll heal. And with his insane defense, it basically turns into a battle of you have to kill him before he can kill you. Which is not easy, because everything he has is like one hit KO. This is also one of the very rare fights where Thunder Surge really ain't gonna help. And yeah, he's trying to shot lock us now. And we can't D-Link during the fight either. But yeah, we heal. He heals. Once again, we heal. Oh, and he can conflict us. He can inflict us with confuse as well. So yeah, ain't this fight fun? At least Aqua has the ability to just avoid all his attacks via the cartwheel. One thing, though, you can use Renewal Barrier in order to heal, and he will not heal from that. Also, Shot Locks don't work on him too well, because he can just teleport out of the way. He also has a bunch of crazy attacks we haven't really seen before. Nope, that's not going to work. So, yeah, you might be wondering how do you just have to play perfectly? Well, thankfully, not quite. So we're not going to retry that fight. Instead, we are going to have to equip a different deck. And like I said, Thunder Surge actually is kind of going to fail us here. Even if we use Thunder Surge, chances are we're just going to take a hit from that. So we're going to change up our deck a little bit. And by that I mean we're literally going to change every single slot in our command. So first off, Light Bloom really doesn't work because he can just teleport away and then you just won't do Light Bloom. So instead we're going to use Photon Charge, which hopefully will work maybe a little bit better. And now we are going to uh, create a brand new deck. Remember how I said Mind Square is really good and actually better than Secret Mind? Yep. Four Mind Squares. The reason Mind Square is better than Secret Mind is because Secret Mind... If we, when we cast it, second chance and once more get disabled because we're not supposed to stagger while using it. Which means if he hits us while we're casting it, we will die. Whereas with Mind Square, if he hits us during this, it will knock us out of it. We won't actually get to use Mind Square, but at least we will get to survive. Now, there is a way around Vinitas's healing copying. He will copy your cure spells, but he will not copy your item usage. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually going to use potions in this fight. Yeah, remember how I complained constantly about how useless potions were at, when the game was constantly giving me them? No! P 
Potions are actually the way of dealing with this guy. And as it turns out, we actually are going to need to buy more potions because I sold all of mine earlier, way, way earlier, so I could have more money for commands. So, yeah, we are actually going to go. Here, bro, give me, like, 62 potions. I don't even care. I don't even care. We want the potions. And yes, we do want potions and not a different item. Potions are the ideal. It only recovers a small amount of HP, but here's the thing. Like I said, every single one of his attacks will kill you in one hit anyways. Which means it does not matter how much HP we get back from the items. As long as we get enough that second chance and once more triggers, we're good. And while we could get more HP with a high potion, or a mega potion, or an elixir, you can see we can only carry four high potions, three mega potions, and two elixirs in one slot. But we can carry five potions in one slot. So, we are just going to equip four sets of five potions, so we got 20 potions. We can heal basically 20 times in the fight, and then we've got four mind squares. And that is going to be how we get past Vanitas' lingering spirit. It's a massive puzzle figuring all of this out. I'm glad that I f figured it all out beforehand, but even so, even with this, it is still not an easy fight. Like, it's still stupidly difficult. But at least it's possible. So yeah, here we go. 20 potions, 4 mind squares. Let's go in. And again, if we can use Renewal Barrier on his attacks, that also can heal us. But I think the only attack we can actually heal with Renewal Barrier is when he shoots the Fiery X at us. And even then, doesn't always work. The rest of his attacks are just unguardable. So he pretty much always starts the fight by doing this Shadow Launch attack. Okay, maybe I should not have used Mind Square on that, because I don't really want to be on Spellweaver land style. Yeah, basically the only way to kind of safely do this fight is to plant, is to wait basically for an opening when he's not just charging at you constantly. Cast Mind Square, and then hope that he lands on your mines and take damage gradually. If he get a hit... If he gets a hit on you, then use potions to heal yourself back up. And that's basically the only strategy for this fight, pretty much. And as you saw, that right there that we just did was aerial recovery, which we have never done yet. Now remember, because we have potions, Leaf Bracer does not work for them. Which means... He absolutely can hit us and kill us while we are using a potion to heal. So if he does that, there's no escape dark spike move. That's generally a good time to heal once you get out of the way of it. Oh, doggone it. The command style change kind of ruined me there. Disabled my second chance once more. But this is one of those fights that's just, like, it's not fun. Also, fun fact, folks. Back in the original Birth by Sleep, the original Japanese version, this was the only bonus boss. There was another one added for the international release, and then Final Mix added all the Mirage Arena ones. Okay, I'm actually... You know what? I am actually going to unequip the Royal Radiance Keyblade. Although its magic stat is really, really good, I actually don't like how we keep entering these command styles, because it's actually kind of ruining us. So what is the next best magic stat? Probably an Ultima... Yeah. We're going to go Ultima Weapon instead, because I actually think the entering command styles more frequently is a detriment to this. I mean, it's not like we're going to really be using Riva Mixer against him. I just want to make sure we don't get killed while we lose our invincibility frames entering the new command style. What's yours is mine. It's actually not true, bro. This is not communism. All right, now just come run this way. Yeah, just like that. 
We're still entering the command style pretty quickly. I think that blue blast that he makes also could potentially be guarded against. Oh great, I'm confused. Oh, potion didn't go off. Oh hey, he's using a shot lock on me. Well, I will return the favor. Shotlocks really don't do a whole lot against him. Literal, literally zero damage. Yeah, Shotlocks just kind of not worth it. <laughs> Remember how I said Mind Square was a great command? I was thinking of this fight. <laughs> Oh, and guys, remember, this is Aqua. Can you imagine the fight as uh, Terra? Who would have thought that potions would actually be better than Cure one day? It's kind of... The, get, the whole gimmick of he heals when you heal, it's kind of cool in theory. It's just really frustrating to actually deal with. It helps that he does only have, like, one bar of HP, which is basically the, the same amount of HP that we have. If he had, like, five bars of HP, it would be very unfair. Some of his attacks... He will not stagger from the mines from, and in that case, he can potentially hit, like, all the mines and take huge damage. Rhythm Mixer? For me? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Well, that went way easier than I thought it would. Yes! <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, take that, Vanita's spirit. Your no match frog was potions. So, this is his lingering spirit. And I know, like, technically, because we're playing Aqua's story, it hasn't saved that we beat the final boss yet. So, like,. Vanitas is still around, but, like, gameplay-wise, we have to have already beaten him. So, like, I get it. But linger Terra's lingering will is basically his remaining hatred for Xehanort made incarnate in his armor. Is that kind of the same deal with Vanitas here? I don't really know. Never explained, but there we go. And we get the Void Gear Keyblade. A Keyblade with long reach that provides an outstanding boost in strength and deals higher damage when you land a critical hit. So we get his super fancy black and white keyblade. So that's pretty cool. So if we open it up. So down here, void gear, eight strength, four magic. However, Royal Radiance has eight strength and seven magic, longer reach and can enter command styles like immediately. So we're still gonna go with the Royal Radiance. We're definitely going to need it for um, the remaining fight. But yeah, there we go. Wow. I did not expect to beat Vanitas' Lingering Spirit that quickly as Aqua. Like, truly, I thought I was going to die, like, at least ten more times against him. But maybe I got lucky, or maybe it's just because I already know how to beat him. So, actually, he was not as bad as I remember. I mean, he's still very dumb boss of <laughs> having to figure out that you can use potions against him and that you can't use cure. It's It oftentimes takes a really long time to figure out, but... Yeah, there we go. Like, figuring out how you can heal against him and then figuring out the, like, the one command that he can actually get hurt by pretty easily, and that's Mind Square, because you can use it remotely from a safe distance, and then he charges into it, and it does pretty good damage. So, there we go. That's the fight as Aqua. So now we're going to do the fight as Ventus, and this is a very rare situation where the bonus boss fight is actually easiest to beat if you're playing as Ventus. It's pretty much always Aqua has the easiest time against the bonus bosses, but no. This time, Ventus has the easiest time against the bonus boss. Now you might be thinking, 
well, how is that possible? You know, like, Ventus, is, he's just kind of average, you know? He's not as dodgy or as magically powerful as Aqua. He's not as physically strong or durable as Terra, so, like, how is he going to do better? Well, because Ventus has access to one command that nobody else has. And that is something that you probably aren't even thinking of, but it's something that is actually very useful against Vanitas' Lingering Spirit. And that command is Tornado. And I've just taken the time to have uh, free Tornadoes created off stream. And yes, we're going to be using free Tornadoes against him, and then we're going to fill up our remaining commands with potions. And okay, it looks like we're going to need to buy some more potions. Also, we're going to unequip Payback Raid and instead use Aerial Recovery because it's a little bit safer. So here we are in the Badlands. We have free tornadoes. I know what you're fi like. You're like, hang on. You literally just said that the big commands don't do anything against the bonus bosses, right? Like they just knock you out of. They just knock you right out and kill you, right? Well, yes and no. So here's the thing. Yes, Vanitas can absolutely shrug off tornado, hit us, and if he hits us while we're casting tornado, we are dead, like immediately. However. There's a chance he doesn't. And if he doesn't shrug off the tornado, it can be quite nice. So, in order to pull this off, we will need to get a little bit lucky. But if we get lucky, we will actually have an easier time with this fight than Aqua will. And boy howdy is it awesome if you can pull it off. So, here we go. Let's face the danger of the Vanitas Lingering Spirit. Or the Vanitas Remnant, as he's often known as well. And you know what, it is fitting as they're basically, like, two halves of the same person, that their battle is the most epic. Defeat Vanitas' Lingering Spirit, alright. So he's going to open up with the Shadow Clone attack. So we will have to use Dodge Roll to get through this. Okay, so that didn't work. I fully, I fully expect to die multiple times to this because, like I said, you do need to time it properly and you do need to get a little bit lucky. But once we've gotten lucky once, we should be golden. Show me anguish. We basically need to wait for a point when he's going to be vulnerable. Ideally, if he starts walking towards us normally, that's when we want to do it. Okay, yeah, that's bad. So, like I said, right, right there, he just kind of shrugged off Tornado like it was nothing. Or like that, if we do it while he's doing an attack, yeah, that's bad. He, he's just like, I don't care about no Tornado, and instantly kills us. But I promise you, there is a way you can use Tornado to deal a lot of damage against him. You also don't need to spam dodge roll, you can time it so that you avoid their slashes right when they do them, but it's pretty difficult. Oh, that's good. That is not good. He teleport fragged us. The music here is awesome. It's a remix of Vanitas' theme, Enter the Darkness. This one is called Enter the Void. Because there's nothing left of Vanitas but, I guess, his darkness and hatred for us. But that's kind of just Vanitas to begin with, so I don't know. Yeah, but I got a fancy new outfit. Nope! Man, he is not giving me even one opening. Oh, actually, I think... I think that would have worked if his fireball hadn't come back and hit me. Like, I actually think that would have worked if his fireball hadn't hit me. Because he launched it, and then it kind of split apart, and then homed back in on me. In multiple parts, so that just killed me immediately. Doggone it! Why did it make me lose my lock-on to him? Okay, if he does the Dark Thorn attack, we that is not a possible opening for this. 
I think we really do have to wait until he just starts gently walking towards us. Nope, he just shrugged it off like it was nothing. I promise you there is a way, like sometimes he does not shrug it off and will just sit down and take it. I don't remember him being this much of a butt about it. Actually, no, yes I do. I think we really did just get very fortunate to finish so quickly with Aqua. Oh, this is promising. Never mind, no it's not. Oh man, if I can time a tornado though, while right as he finishes his shot lock, that could be an opportunity. The problem is, Vanitas can just choose to auto counter anytime you hit him, no matter what, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's one of those things that makes him a very poorly designed boss, fundamentally. Even not, even when it's not the remnant Vanitas, the bonus boss, even regular Vanitas had that, and it was not good. Pathetic. There we go. Here we are. Okay. So remember how Vanitas was not immune to all status effects? Well, even but like the heart, the fervor on you fought him, the more, the less vulnerable to them he became. Well, even Vanitas's lingering spirit is not immune to tornado. No! What? He should have been so dead. That's baloney. He had one health and then I hit him again. That should have finished him off. Oh, I'm ticked. But yeah, you can literally trap him in Tornado. And then if you trap him in Tornado, he's supposed to stay trapped for the whole rest of the fight. I don't know how he broke out. He just broke his AI to do that. See ya. I don't even know how that happened, but okay. It just said like, nope, no, you just died. I didn't think there was anything even falling on top of me. And I didn't think I'd even started using Tornado yet, but apparently... There's no escape. Oh, well, that, yeah, that came a whole lot faster than I thought it would. See ya. Here we are. Oh good, the, the fiery X did not hit us in time. So here we are. I'm just going to keep mashing triangle because apparently two tornadoes will not finish him off. <laughs> why? Because you're a butt. That's why. <laughs> I love that strat. I love how you can cheese him with Ventus. These bosses are not fair. If you can cheese them, you cheese them. <laughs> Plus, it's hilarious. Plus, it's awesome that Ventus finally gets to use wind to kill something, and that something is like the ultimate powered up version of his evil self. It, it's so fitting. And hey, of the Void Gear Keyblade. Well, how nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still bad, though. It has the same stats no matter who it is. Yep, it's literally the same Keyblade, but worse than the Royal Radiance. Which is funny, because Royal Radiance is generally a lot easier to get than the Void Gear. But there we go. That is Vanitas' Lingering Spirit as Ventus, which means... Oh, no. <sighs> well... Vanitas Remnant wasn't too bad as Aqua or Ventus, but, um, all that's about to change. We have heavily relied on Ventus and Aqua's ability to just mash the square button and dodge to escape all damage. Terra can't do that. Terra can't do that, so, yeah. We're gonna need to develop a strategy before going in there, methinks. So, we're gonna go into this fight using the Aqua strategy. Four Mind Squares and 40 Potions. Not 40 Potions, 20 Potions. 20 Potions. 
Now here's the thing. This is one fight that we are not going to use Chaos Ripper. Because we actually do need that magic stat for the Mind Squares. So here we go. Royal Radiance. Almost as strong, almost as long. And wow, Terra's Royal Radiance is really big. And it has way more magic than the Chaos Ripper does. So, so long, old friend. It's been nice knowing you, but... We're gonna need to bring out all the stops for this, and unfortunately, Chaos Ripper is actually only going to hinder us in this fight. Oh boy. This is gonna be rough. Now, Terra barely even got to fight Vanitas in his main story. He only fought him at the end alongside Master Xehanort, and Vanitas was massively holding back in that fight. And he still managed to kill us in that fight. So, here we go. This. Here we go. Vanitas' lingering spirit. Oh my gosh, he didn't open up Shadow Clones. Yeah. That went about as well as I expected. So hang on, if we attack him right at the beginning, will he not do the Shadow Clone attack? I'm gonna try that out. Rats, he did it anyways. Yeah, yeah. And you can't block those. You can't even use Renewal Block to guard those. Oh no! I feel like we're gonna have to try to shot lock him before he can do that. That is, I did not say to block. Let's see how you like Ultima Cannon. Oh, you didn't mind Ultima Cannon at all. Well, yeah, I feel like if he does his Shadow Clone attack, we're just dead. Lovely. Now, there is a cheese strat you can do as Terra, which I will ultimately probably have to resort to, but I'm at least going to try to do it in a legit way. Okay, that's the way to do it. We've got to shot lock him during that. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Dude, putting dirt in his eye is actually doing great. Until that happened. Oh, dude! Bully McGuire to the rescue! Dirt in your eye is absolutely destroying him. And it's making us super invincible. If only I could aim a little bit better. Okay, no, you can't guard that. Uh-oh. Darn it! I was doing so great! Wait, I was actually doing really great! <laughs> Putting dirt in his eyes, the key to victory. And it's great because Terra has Royal Radiance, which puts him to the finisher quickly, and Mind Square doesn't put him into any command styles. <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. I am so glad I named the final finish command that. Show me 
It's actually doing, again, it's not doing great damage, but because he only has one bar of HP, it does. Dude. Oh, this actually could backfire. If our finish command ends when he's doing a powerful attack, we're just dead. But if we can end this command while they can take damage... Oh, no, we're, I think we're dead. We're not dead. Oh, dude! I can't believe it! We're actually kicking his butt as Terra. No, wait! It wouldn't let me put dirt in his eye! No! Dude, we might not even need the cheese strategy. Well, I guess this is kind of its own cheese strategy. If you've got- this probably is only viable if you use the Royal Radiance Keyblade because that's sending us to put dirt in his eye like way faster than it normally would. Show me <laughs> I barely made that one in time. <laughs> You're done! I'm putting dirt in your eye. Oh no! He went invincible! How am I supposed to put dirt in his eye now? <laughs> you already did this move. Oh, and he's pushing me around. Well, that was dumb. I thought I was highlighted on potion, not mind square, but... No, hang on. No, I'm actually having a blast fighting this guy. Like, stupidly hard, but... Oh, man. Getting to bully him by putting dirt in his eye, this is way better. This is way better, actually. <laughs> What's yours is mine. You're done. An Ultima Cannon is great just for stalling out this attack. Why bother having to dodge when you can just Ultima yeah. Cannon? Him? Take that. There's no escape. Uh oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Go. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> I did not realize that this was actually gonna be a viable way to beat him. But man, this this makes me so happy. <laughs> this makes me so happy <laughs> that the key to beating him is putting dirt in his eye. If I beat him this way, can I still show off- Well, yes. Actually, if I beat him this way, I can still show off the cheese strategy, because I don't have to save that I beat him. Because I definitely want to show off the cheese strategy as well. And I'm not sure if you can fight Lingering Spirit more than once. Oh, cool! I love it when he just lands right on one of my landmines, so I can use Landbreaker Dirt in your eye on him. Actually, I think Landbreaker is what is dealing, like what the Terra Dealing Finisher is called, which is like a weaker version of this. No, Terra's slide was not quite enough to escape. That's the problem. I couldn't use a potion in the middle of that because then he would have killed me while using it. No, I really want to finish him off with dirt in your eye, though. <laughs> it's, my dream. it's like a dream come true. And I planted my mind square right next to you. Take that. Let's go. Let's go. And it's a good thing, too, because I'm not dealing much damage against him using the, uh, Mind Square. Even with Royal Radiance, Terra's magic stat is still really low. Uh-oh. No! Oh! Okay, never put dirt in his eye when I'm at 1 HP. Because if he's in the middle of a combo like that, he will destroy me. Oh, 
I wish there was more stuff that you could do in this fight. I wish there was more stuffy for you that you could use renewal block slash renewal barrier on. Because you really can't do that against any of his stuff. There's no escape. Want some? Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's doing his super dash attack. Too slow. Too slow. I think you're just afraid of getting a little dirt in your eye. Uh oh. <laughs> There's no escape from the dirt in your eye. <laughs> oh, dude. He's get he's approaching half health. This is great. Oh, yes! <laughs> I love this. Oh, yeah. Dur oh my gosh, he just took so much damage from the dirt in his eye. Uh oh, this is not good. I am absolutely taking damage from that. Ouch. Yes, you are done. <laughs> Got more dirt in your eye. I love it if I can hit him with all four of those. Which I can if he's charging up for something. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad. No! Oh, that was the worst. There was nothing I could have done. There was literally nothing I could have done. He entered that right as I was leaving dirt in your eye. By the time I left, I had already been hit, so I was inflicted with blind. And when you're hit, inflicted with blind, you can't shot lock. So I had no way of stalling that out. Oh, man. That stinks. I was just, I was trying to dodge and refill my HP, but it, it wouldn't Take work. That. Yours is mine. Shotlocks are basically the only way to stall this out is Terra, so. See ya. There's no escape. Take that. Pathetic. You're done. Pathetic. See ya. Come on, man. Come on over here. Whew! That feeling of relief when you can put dirt in his eye. I love that feeling. I actually totally forgot I had set this to the finisher as a joke for the no heart fight. I am so glad I was out of range of that. Otherwise, that would have had a very different ending. Show me anguish. You're done. You're done. <laughs> I can't see how much HP he has. No Even when I'm locked on. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, I was able to stop most of the attack, but not all of it. Alright, he's almost dead. Suffer. 
Yes. Okay. I think this dirt is. I think this might kill him. I'm gonna put some serious dirt in your eye. Yes. Boy, McGuire already wins. Dude, I can't believe we didn't have to use the cheese strategy on him. I am so freaking happy. Oh my gosh. No, okay, I, I can't believe I was dreading... No, I was dreading this fight. I had so much fun trying to beat him as Terra using put dirt in your eye. And we get the Void Gear Keyblade. Can we fight him again? I really want to fight him again. We can fight him again. Okay, cool. So, I'm just going to equip the deck for the cheese strategy. Uh, just, just give me a second. So, yeah. Here's the cheese strategy. Two strike raids, and the rest are potions. You might be thinking, wait. You're probably scratching your head right now thinking, what? wait, hang on, I'm sorry. Strike raid, like one of the absolute most basic commands in the game that deals pretty much no damage and was terrible and you never used? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly how we are going to absolutely embarrass Vanitas Remnant. And we have gone back to equipping the Chaos Ripper Keyblade because we are no longer relying on Magic Mind Square. We just care about Strike Raid. And now, let's face Vanitas' Lingering or Spirit again. And maybe we can get it first try. And if you're playing, if you're, if you're playing at home, if for some stupid reason you actually want to fight Vanitas Remnant as Terra to like get the Platinum Trophy or something, I recommend just doing this strategy from the get-go. It's funnier, it's stupid. Well, no, it's not funnier than dirt in your eye, but it's stupider, it's easier, it's cheesier. All right. Vanitas of Lincoln Green Spirit. How are we going to do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do... So he's going to enter here. So we're going to once again use the Ultima Cannon Shalok to just stall this out. Now here's the thing. In this arena, there is a very large rock right here. And this large rock here is very special. The reason this is special is because Vanitas doesn't really know how to properly move through it. Which means if we get him stuck on one side, we can use Strike Raid to hit him through the wall and he can't get out. If we can trap him on one side of this wall, we can strike raid him through it. He will just automatically avoid it a lot of the time, but there will be times that he won't. And yeah, it won't deal much damage, but it will be a very safe way of inflicting damage on him. And as you see, even when he counters this, he can't go through the rock. And we only need two strike raids in order to get this done. Because five attack haste just make the recharge so fast. And yeah, we can literally just sit here at the rock. Just make sure you're always locking onto him. And sometimes it will remove the lock on from him. Like right here. So again, he's doing these moves, but he just can't, for some reason, find a way to get to this side of the rock wall. And as you can see, the Strike Raid is actually doing respectable damage against him. Keep in mind, he only has one bar of HP, so we don't need to be doing stupidly high damage. We just need to be doing some damage to him. And if you want, you can also equip free Strike Raids if you want to be able to use it even more frequently. But yeah, we literally just sit here, lock onto him, snipe him with Strike Raid, and he can't do anything. He's too stupid to be able to make it out across this rock wall. And yeah, we can just snipe him from a distance with Strike Raid. This alone makes Strike Raid a pretty decent command, in my opinion. Even if it's very situational, but when it's good, it's spectacularly cheesy. It's dangerously cheesy. 
He's not even trying. He's just literally sitting here and taking it. <laughs> Want some, man? And like I said, it doesn't matter if he automatically counters it most of the time. He's not going to automatically counter it all of the time. And <laughs> that's all we need. <laughs> Come on, man. You want some? You think I'm pathetic? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, that's my reaction to Vanitas. <laughs> I don't care. Like I said, it's birth by sleep bonus bosses. They are completely unfair and unbalanced and improperly made. If you can cheese them, cheese them. And you <laughs> don't feel like that victory is on Earth. <laughs> and yeah, you can do that strategy with anybody, but it's uh, it obviously works best for Terra because Terra doesn't really have a whole lot of other safe options for dealing with him. And also, because of Terra's overall physical strength, his strike rates deal a whole lot more damage than Aqua's and even Ventus's. So there we go. Unless I'm mistaken, we should have, at this point, literally everything in the game, except one thing. There is one final bonus boss waiting for us, and we have saved the absolute worst for last. Oh, man. Uh, if you if you're familiar with the the bonus bosses of Birth by Sleep, you know what's coming next, and you know just how horrid it is. I will uh, I will be saving most of that for next time because I don't even want to think about it. The next boss, worst boss in the game. Worst bonus boss in Kingdom Hearts fran in the whole franchise. Worst boss in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Not just bonus boss. Worst boss in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. My personal opinion. Worst boss fight in the history of video games. Up next in the final episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We will be using everything at our disposal to get rid of this next boss because oh my gosh like if you think we've seen rough bonus boss no if you've never encountered this fight i already guarantee you you are not prepared for what this boss fight will have in store it is literally the most horrendously unfair thing you will ever see in your entire life and we will be using every single strategy we can to cheese it <laughs> that we possibly can because the only way to beat him is to cheese him you there's no legitimate way to beat him so, yeah, look forward to that next time on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.